and goddesses. I have an amazing queen with me here today. I'll let her introduce herself. Hello, goddess and goddesses. My name is Karen Yelverton, and I'm humbled and happy to be here with you today. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. She is a wonderful poet, and she has an amazing book out. Here we go. I'm definitely going to put the link in the description box so you guys can check out her amazing work. I'm going to let her speak more about this book. So, go ahead, so um, yes, this is my poetry book. I... Uh, it is not self-published, but we're on our way there with the next book. Yes. And um, it's full of just some great, inspiring, uplifting poetry. Uh, please check it out on Amazon, or you can contact me on my Instagram at kyangelic. Angelic is spelled with a C, and we'll put that link in there as well. Of course, of And course. also, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, yes, you definitely to get, have to check it out. You need to subscribe. Yes. You know, enjoy <laughs> yourselves and listen to some poetry and get, you know, right. uplifted and inspired, especially in today's world, what we're working with, right? Definitely, definitely. It's a really great way to start your New Year's as well. All right. Thank you so much. No problem, Bean. So we're gonna get straight to the recipe. I'm so happy to have her here because this recipe requires a lot of cans. So if you have a family or friend nearby, grab them and bring them in the kitchen because we all gonna cook together. Right. So this soup is very near and dear to my heart, mainly because Haiti is one of the first black nations to gain its independence. So basically this soup is where um, they celebrate on New Year's Eve. I will definitely add some more information in the description box and um, also in this video, so stay tuned. This soup shamu on New Year's Day is in a celebration of our independence, abolishment of slavery, and our continued fight for equal rights. This is squash-based soup, and today I'm going to be using kombucha squash, one whole kombucha squash that is. I'm also going to use half of a butternut squash. Make sure somebody strong cut this open or get it cut in the store because this could be very dangerous. <laughs> All right, guys, so just to give you a heads up, this requires a whole lot of ingredients, all right? But I'm gonna take you through it. We gonna get it right. And we're making this with Dr. Sebi approved ingredients, okay? So I don't wanna see no comments telling me it's not the traditional way, of course not. We're gonna try our best to make it a lot healthier. Um, so if you are um, following Dr. Sebi's lifestyle, you're able to enjoy this amazing traditional soup. So the ingredients that we're gonna need, so one whole, kombucha squash, half of a butternut squash. We're gonna need a bell pepper. We're gonna need a yellow onion. We are gonna need our burro bananas. Um, so I do know that it requires rigatoni pasta, but this is the only approved pasta that's very close to rigatoni that I was able to find. So this is kombucha pasta from one of my favorite brands. Um, we're gonna use one orange bell pepper. You can use red, whatever you like. Of course, we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes because why not? Then we're gonna need some thyme. We're gonna use um, for the beef replacement, we're using porcini mushrooms. Porcini mushrooms is one of my favorite because it has a very like beefy texture. So it's an absolutely amazing substitute for beef. Of course, we're gonna need some scallions. We're gonna need some oyster mushrooms. This is optional. We're gonna use some African bird pepper for the spice. Um, and I might put in some black trumpet mushrooms, so. First thing we're gonna do is scoop out the seeds out of our kombucha squash and also our butternut squash. Okay, so we're just gonna add them in. Of course, you can peel them before or after. We're just gonna juice after. Yeah, we're gonna that one in. Some sauce. And we're gonna let it boil for approximately 20 minutes or until it's al dente. So just keep an eye on it. Um, I like to add a little salt to it, just to add some flavor. But again, this is completely optional. This is basically the fourth test what we're doing right now. We're gonna test the squash to see if it's soft and ready. Ooh, so that exact, that means it's ready. So the, the butternut squash is ready and the acorn squash is ready. Awesome, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna take the skin off and then we're gonna blend it right, to make guys, it So we have strained the squash and we are taking the skin off of it because you know we didn't do that beforehand so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skin off and then we're gonna pop it into my lovely Vitamix to make the broth so I want to give you guys a little close-up of um, every step of the way so you can peel it um, now or you can peel it um, before you can boil it so. add half a gallon of spring water into your blending cup and blend until it's nice and smooth this process should take no more than two minutes 
So this is what it looks like dried. What we are going to do is basically rehydrate them. So to rehydrate them, you're gonna have to put them in warm water to put life into it. Mm. Smells like sponge bath. All right guys, so we're also gonna use black trumpet mushrooms. And the reason why we're using this is because we don't have a lot of porcini, so we're gonna do a mixture of both. So we're gonna pour some of that in. If you see how juicy those porcinis mm. are looking, oh my God. So we're gonna put about a cup of that inside and we're just adding these mushrooms to add that meaty, beefy texture that our soup jamu usually has. The next step you're gonna do is basically saute all of your vegetables. So I'm gonna input about two tablespoons of grapeseed oil into my pot. And you're gonna use a big soup pot for this because this is going to go fast. So you wanna make a lot and quickly. So I'm gonna let the oil eat up and then I'm gonna add in my yellow onions. One yellow onion in. Sun-dried tomatoes at our time, along with our bell peppers. We have one green, we have one orange as well. Saute your veggies for two minutes, then you're gonna input your boar bananas. We're gonna input our scallions. Thank you so much, Queen. You are such an amazing helper. Thank you. I wonder if people realize how much love and effort you put into your meal. Like this is amazing. Like a lot of preparation, a lot of time, but yeah. you know, you can get it done. Exactly. And I just, you know, thank you. All right guys, so our broth is finito. Look at how rich and creamy this is. So we are gonna actually add all of this broth into all of this electricness that we have in this pot going on. All right, Queen, we're gonna pour this in. Yes. We couldn't find rigatoni, so this is an excellent substitute. So we're gonna put half the packet of this into the amazing goodness. So this is kind of like a one-pot meal. We got half of that. Let me give you guys a close-up on these mushrooms. So these porcini mushrooms are very beefy. They are an excellent replacement, and they add a whole lot of flavor into the dish. Look at that. We're gonna add this into our soup pot now that is rehydrated, and we are good to go. Last thing we're gonna add is our boy. Boy is basically spelled dumplings. I will put the link below so you show you guys how to make a uh, dumpling from scratch. And basically the only difference is you're making this one into a log shape. Add your boy to the pot and let it cook for five minutes. Do you see how yummy that soup looks already? Oh my God, I cannot wait to dig in. Next, we're gonna input our spices. We're gonna input two tablespoons of sea salt. Put more or less, whatever you prefer. Next, we're gonna input a tablespoon of dill weed. Of course, you can adjust these spices to whatever you prefer. Then I'm gonna input a teaspoon of oregano. We're gonna input a teaspoon of African bird pepper because spice is the key. And mix all our spices in and let this soup cook down for additional five minutes and then we are going to plate this goodness. Look at how chunky and oh my god, this soup is amazing. All right, guys and goddesses, and there you have it, our alkaline electric soup zamu. All right, so we're going to let this amazing queen try this dish. All right, queen, go ahead, sit, get comfy. Let me get you a spoon. We gonna hook you up. Mm. The noodles are just right. Nice. Okay. Now we're gonna go for the burnt banana. It's like melting. Mm. And you don't realize how they're gonna cook down because it's so tough. Getting the skin off was, you know, can be a little tough. Mm -hmm. But boy, once you put it all together. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so thank you so much mm. for stopping by, Queen. I am. Thank you. This is just like calming. Nice. The calm because there is.
is no so Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so please check out her channel. She is amazing, alright? I'm definitely going to put all the links below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.